Welcome back to the Wet Mammal Channel guys. Today we're going to get stuck into something a little bit different with a catch and cook with one of my favourite eating fish in the world, the goatfish. The goatfish featured in this video is a black saddle goatfish. I commonly know this fish as a black spot goatee or just a goatee. Goatfish have got really soft flesh, so they can tear off your spear really easily. This guy almost got away, but fortunately for me, he didn't. In New South Wales, there is no legal minimum size. They are commonly found in New South Wales, Queensland, but can also be seen in other states as well as the South Pacific. They can grow to be over two kilos, but I typically shoot them between 700 grams and 1.7 kilos. The best thing you can do for a goatfish is just stone it flat. This completely eliminates the risk of the fish tearing off. This fish has an unfortunately unique taste. It's absolutely delicious. I can't recommend it enough. So yeah, these guys are definitely a target for me. I typically go out and I'll only target one or two different types of fish, but if I come across a nice fat goat, I'm gonna take him. They are delicious. Raw is sashimi, ceviche, steamed, cooked, you name it, these guys taste great. And they make a fantastic stock too, so always keep your heads and bones. As with all my fish, when I get it to the surface, I bleed it as soon as I possibly can. This usually just means ripping the gills out. Grab your dive knife and slice the back of the spine. This will prevent the nerves from spasming, which will ensure that you get better quality flesh. Now we're on to the Thai green mango salad. This recipe was taught to me by my dear mate, Johnny Mom. It's a delicious, easy to make recipe and tastes fantastic. First off, you'll need some fish sauce, preferably the squid brand. Then you'll need a green mango. You can pick this up in most Asian supermarkets. Green apple, go for half. Some garlic cloves that have been peeled. Some chilies, base it off your own heat. Some coriander, just a small bunch chopped up. Look at them, <laughs> the juice of a lemon. Of course, there's a lemon. Some sugar. Just pure sugar. Yep. And finally some cashews. So first up you're just going to want to chop your chilies up, get rid of seeds. Again, it depends on how much heat you can handle. Like all things chili related, season to your own tastes and your own capabilities. If you can't handle the heat, ditch the seeds. Chop the chili up into chunks, mince some garlic. Next up, take your green mango, peel it, and then just grate it. You might find it strange that I've got delicate, beautiful little Asian hands. These belong to Johnny, not me. Between this video, you'll see us <laughs> chop and change. So as you can see, these are Johnny's hands. Now onto the apple. This is what it looks like in a bowl. Yep. Just beautiful footage. Let's all take a moment to just appreciate the quality of the footage here. Then we have the superstar of the evening, the black spot goatfish, the black saddle goatfish. You've all seen me fillet fish before, and this fish is really easy to fillet. So straight down there, and then we'll speed things up. Typically you'd use this dish as a whole fish, but unfortunately the goatee was too big for the pan. Even lopping the tail off, we would lose a decent amount of meat. So we decided to go for fillets. In future, I'd recommend using a whole fish and I imagine this dish would work perfectly with so many other fish. Yeah. 
stroking. If you're not stroking your fish, you're doing something wrong. Two glorious little fillets. I'm quite happy, clearly. <laughs> Next up, get some heat. <laughs> some oil. There's quite a lot of oil in this pan, and typically we wouldn't cook with this much oil. But I think Johnny forgot that we were cooking with fillets, not a whole fish. It's easy to push the blame on Johnny for this one because he doesn't get to voice over. From here, we're just going to chuck everything into a bowl. I'd recommend leaving the apples to grate at the last moment because they oxidize pretty quick. Just means they go a bit brown. So, chuck everything into the bowl. Measurements are up on the side. And then get ready to mix. The sugar is there to kind of balance out the, the sour and the salty flavors that go into the dish. The garlic goes in raw and this just adds a bit of heat and a bit of oomph to the dish. Then mix. Typically I'd mix with my fingers but like the rest of you I don't really know where they've been. Mix it up nice and good. It smells then so once amazing. your fish is crisped up nicely take them out. Top trick Put it on paper towel, this will absorb some of the oil. I don't know anybody that enjoys a really, really oily, oily fish. So always goes on to some kitchen roll or paper towel. And yeah, just let it kind of rest and absorb some of that oil. So you've got delicious flavors. Don't forget to enjoy some beer along the way. <laughs> Soured and only two Just points. don't almost <laughs> spit your beer into a burning hot pan of oil. <laughs> Like if you had spat in there, that would have been lovely. <laughs> it would Next up, you just wanna just do something. Just put it on the fish and and make it look good. I'm trying to add like some twists and turns in it. Oh, beautiful! How sensational does that look? Different angles. Oh yeah, baby. This is gonna taste good. I know it. It just looks and feels like it's gonna taste good. Alright guys, so this is my mate Johnny's dish. It comes from Thailand. It's a green mango and green apple dish and it's just super refreshing and hopefully really yum. Let's get stuck in. So we've got the fish. We're going to go with some of this. A bit of chilli. Some cashew. And get stuck in. That is so good. That is absolutely delicious. Blown away. I took quite a lot of chili, but that's really, really good. <laughs> Get some rice. Try and calm oh, things down a bit. This is absolutely amazing. That's a 10 out of 10 meal. Awesome. Thank you. I don't know. Anything else so I need to say? <laughs> the camera's doing weird things, guys. <laughs>